What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be going over how we can create a color picker in Xcode with SwiftUI. And to get started, as you can see, we have a sample app over here with a circle. Now if we go ahead and click on this color picker, it's going to initialize the picker and it's going to give us this whole selection option. So we have the options to use a grid, a spectrum, or even a slider. And we can do so much with this, so we can pick any color we want. We can pick some of the default colors, such as blue. And when we close it, it's going to update all of our colors. And of course, we can change it back. We can even make it less opaque and make it, let's say, yellow. And then close it again. And we're going to end up with a light yellow. So that's what we're going to be making in this video. So the first thing you want to do is start a new project by holding Shift Command plus N and we will click on app under the iOS section, click on next, and then here we'll just type in Cola tutorial or whatever you want it to be called, making sure that our interface is set to SwiftUI and the language is set to Swift. Then click on next and save it somewhere on your computer. Now, the first thing we want to do is close both sidebars and change the iPod touch to an iPhone 13 and minimize this side window and resume it, of course, so we can see the updates. Now. The first thing we want to do is create a variable which is going to be a state variable, so private var caller. And here we're just going to assign it a random caller of our liking, such as caller.red, so that we can have an initial caller. Now inside here, we will go ahead and place a V stack. And the first thing we want is a circle that we can edit. It will have a frame of width and height of 200, so 200, 200, and we can get rid of the alignment. Then we will give it a foreground caller of caller. And finally, we'll give it some padding. The next step is to go ahead and create the caller picker. So here we can go ahead and type in caller picker. And it's actually so simple to create a caller picker in SwiftUI. All you have to do is go ahead and give it a title such as pick a caller and give it a selection of the binding variable, which is the caller. And as you can see, we get it to appear immediately in our preview. Of course, it would look nicer with some padding, so we will do that. And there are actually some other options that you should be aware of before we continue, and that is, what if we do not want opacity? All you have to do is type in support opacity and provide either false or true, whether you actually want it to support opacity or not. But in this case, I do want it to support opacity because the user should be free to pick anything their heart desires. But in some contexts, you might not want them to be able to select an opacity. But if we go ahead and run the program now, we should end up with what you saw at the beginning of this tutorial, which is a color picker that when you click on, it's going to open up a color tab. And inside here, we have sliders that we can use to change the colors. We have a spectrum in case we want to get creative. Or if we decide, we can also just use the grid because it's so simple to use. We have so many blocks and so many shades of the colors we want to pick. For this example, let's go ahead and pick green this time and close the bar. As you can see, it's going to select green and we do not have to only click on the X. We can also click on the empty space here because this is actually a sheet which just makes it a lot easier to perform sheet actions such as clicking on orange and clicking on the gray area. But anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.